In society, many people face challenges through their lives. My name's Tim Rees, and I might look it, but most of us don't. I'm vision impaired. This is my story through my eyes. Life before the diagnosis, well, I was playing ordinary sports, pretty much going through normal childhood. And then it just completely changed. Originally when I lost my vision, I went through a phase where I was just like, no, this could easily be fixed overnight. I'll easily wake up one day and I can see again. Didn't happen. That forced me into pretty much a small amount of depression, but mainly aggression. I was just a cranky little kid who'd be like, bullshit, I can't see. And that forced me to go to a counsellor. Their remedy was a punching bag. It, I think it really affected my parents the most, especially my mum, because I remember the first Christmas that we had in 2006, and my mum was crying because it was the first Christmas where she believed we shouldn't be happy due to the fact that I'd lost my vision. So since the diagnosis, I think because it was so sudden, um, it actually came out of the blue virtually. Um, and I guess for Tim, it was just simply not being able to see the board and, you know, at school and things like that. So we always thought, oh, it'll be just, we'll take him to the optometrist and it'll be all sort of fairly straightforward, he might need glasses and things like that. So, um, and then I think to find out that there was a whole lot going on after the optometrist saw him, you know, he said, I think, um, basically they thought he'd had a massive bleed behind both eyes. So I guess you're not prepared really, it's like a bombshell really. How's my life changed? Well, pretty dramatically because I went from a sighted nine-year-old to someone who can only see six metres in, in front of his face out of one eye. Luckily, I've had great friends, an amazing supporting family, but it's basically really been sport that has helped me to where I am at today. My sporting achievement started in 2006. I went to state championships for cross country. I won bronze running with one of my school teachers. Following year, I was actually running with my mum at athletics. She was the only one who could keep up with me running 100 metres, 200 metres. We won silver in 200 metres despite absolutely beating our opponent by a very long way. It was funny actually because he loved athletics and I always loved athletics when I was young and he decided he wanted to do 100 metres and 200 metres but because his vision wasn't good enough I was his guided runner and so we went to Homebush and um, it was quite fun because I was tethered to Tim um, but in the 200 metres we were winning but I had to quickly pull back because if the guided runner goes over first, <laughs> Timmy would have got disqualified. So, and I'm quite competitive. So I, <laughs> I had to quickly think, oh my God, I quickly have to get back. And then he caught up and, and went past. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty funny. I've mentored vision impaired kids at Braille camp in the area of Braille and other things since 2012. And the main message I always give them is your vision will only stop you if you let it.